Paris Hilton says she was drugged and raped by an older man when she was 15. Hilton, who recently welcomed her first child with husband Carter Ream, said that before she was sent to Provo Canyon School in Utah, she was living with her maternal grandmother in Palm Springs. However, she would return to Los Angeles to hang out at the Westfield Century City Shopping Center with her friends almost every weekend. That was our favorite thing to do and these, older, guys would always just be hanging around the stores. We talked to them, give them our beeper, pager, numbers, Hilton said. And then one day, they invited us to their house and we're drinking these berry wine coolers, she continued. Hilton said she didn't drink or, do, anything back then, but that one of the men was particularly forceful in making her consume the beverage, which she later realized had been spiked. When I had maybe one or two sips, I just immediately started feeling dizzy and woozy, she recalled. I don't know what he put in there, I'm assuming it was a roofie, rohypnol. Hilton said she passed out and when she woke up a few hours later, she knew that something had happened. I remembered it, she said. I have visions of him on top of me, covering my mouth, being like, you're dreaming, you're dreaming, and whispering that in my ear. Also she said she was groomed by one of her high school teachers, also when she was 15. She said I was just such a young girl and I got manipulated by my teacher. He would call me on the phone all the time, just flirting with me, trying to put in my mind that I was this mature woman. Hilton said that one night he lured her outside her home and into his car, before her parents, Kathy and Richard Hilton, caught them. We only kissed, but if my parents didn't come, imagine what he would have tried to do. She said. Not knowing what to do, the teacher took off with Hilton in his car and literally drove through Bel Air at like 100 miles an hour with her parents in hot pursuit. We were going so fast and somehow we got away from them through a red light. He was freaking out and drove me back home to Bel Air, where he was like, get out. She said that she just felt so ashamed by the whole situation, just from the beginning at such a young age and it really stuck with me in a weird way. To this day, I've not talked about it with my family. I've never told anyone, she added. After these two encounters, Hilton was sent to Provo Canyon School in Utah, where, she said in a 2020 tweet, her childhood was stolen from her.